Joining us now, Citrus CEO David Henshaw and Reich founder and CEO Andrew Filev. Great to see both of you. David, uh, give us your theory of the deal here, because we associate Citrix, of course, with being able to get work done from anywhere, focus on security and some of that. But Reich is deeper into this project management, the actual nuts and bolts of efficient work. What are you trying to accomplish? Well, if you step back and you think about this period of time, I mean, businesses around the world right now are really looking to figure out what work becomes post-pandemic. And of course, how they create an environment that is the most engaging, most productive, and most secure for their teams. And I think it's pretty clear that this idea of hybrid or remote work or even distributed teams that has been so prevalent throughout the pandemic is here to stay. It just works, it drives higher productivity. And so those businesses that succeed are the ones that can really think about this problem holistically delivering all of the work resources necessary for people to be effective, to be secured, and to work any place that work needs to happen. And then, of course, bringing together the capabilities to allow those teams to function in the most productive, most engaged, most efficient way. And I think these two uh, organizations coming together gives us that ability to just do that in a way that is very holistic and very differentiated from anyone else. And Andrew, you and I got a chance to talk and spend some time a few months ago in the thick of this pandemic. You did this deal not too long ago, selling Reich to Vista Equity Partners. Now you're going to be a part of Citrix. Tell me, as the founder, as the CEO of Reich, what is the mission from here? And kind of what is the market telling you about the value of what Reich has created? Well, I'll start with a bigger mission, which is uh, we try to... Uh, reduce the chaos and complexity of digital work so that uh, individuals, teams, and organizations can achieve their best. And then on that mission, uh, I view my job as a CEO of, of Reich uh, to achieve two things. I want to build the most powerful uh, platform that helps companies achieve that. And I also want that platform to achieve uh, corresponding market penetration and leading market penetration. And I feel that under our previous investors, we were able to build those uh, product capabilities and be named leader three times in a row by Forrester and other analysts. And this partnership with Citrix allows us now to really accelerate the market penetration. And it's a very complementary product suite. And it's a very complementary uh, customer that now kind of offers that complete solution to the market. And David, uh, give me your sense of the value of doing this transaction now. Early in the pandemic, I talked to CEOs who said, boy, the valuations are getting kind of crazy out there, and plus, I can't meet potential targets face-to-face. -face. We're going to hold off and maybe not do so many deals. But over the past few weeks, couple months, we've seen a lot of deals of many different kinds. What's the opportunity that you see to kind of, uh, you know, spend up the $2 billion in cash is, is nothing to, to sneeze at. It's not. And we've spent the last several years radically transforming Citrix to become a platform of cloud-delivered services for really helping people work more efficiently, you know, helping them consume their work resources. And as we've made our way through that transition, uh, the vast majority of the way through, you look at the results we've been able to post up. Our SaaS and our subscription revenue on an ARR basis has been rapidly accelerating throughout this entire year. So bringing together a cloud-native delivered platform as Andrew just described, to be able to solve all of these needs for customers on a very holistic basis is uh, it's just the perfect outcome. It solves a lot of problems for customers. It allows us to advance our strategy of really transforming this company even further into being a pure cloud-delivered SaaS-based platform. And uh, the timing just works. The timing works because of those lessons that we've learned through the pandemic. The fact that these needs are real and customers are embracing what that future of work needs to look like right now. And we're gonna help them build out that infrastructure to make sure those teams are productive, they're engaged and they're secured as effectively as they possibly can be. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.